Welcome to the SAS video tutorial on histograms in SAS. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. All right, so here we go. Let's get going. So histograms in SAS. Now, the first thing I need to do is get some data in here. So I'm going to read in the data from my Cycler CPK data, which is linked in the description below in a repository, so you can go there and fetch it. I'm going to use the GUI approach right now, just for a quick review. Uh, I'm going to, it's on my desktop. I'm going to read it in, going to open it, and then I'm going to give it the name Cycler. If you haven't done this before, you can go watch the other video on how to make this happen. It now should be in my Explorer, go to Libraries, go to Work, and sure enough, here's Cycler. All right, but now I want to get a histogram. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do PROC univariate. When you say, wait a minute, we just did proc univariate in the last video. So the data here is equal to cycler. Okay, uh, so we're going to do variable. Again, we're going to do age here. And then we're going to do histogram. That's all we got to put here right now. And we're going to run it and see what happens. So if I highlight this and I give this a run... Something happens, and sure enough, here comes the histogram. Notice it has two modes. It has a big block over here and a block over there, so it's bimodal, and it looks like it might be a little bit towards uh, skewed to the left. Um, the center is around 29, and the spread seems to go from 18 to 42, and being bimodal is the unusual feature in this one. But be sure to comment those in your code what happens with these. All right, so I have a picture, but I also have other information here. Okay, the other information that we got from our last video. Now, what we might want to do to this, just to jazz it up a little bit, is to start playing with some options. Now, what I can do is I can come in here and put slash normal. And this is going to add some additional information to my proc univariate picture. So let's highlight this. Now that we've added this. Okay, now, number one, notice what come up here. Goodness of fit test for normal distribution. This is testing to see whether or not this data is the follows a normal distribution. The null hypothesis is it is normally distributed. Okay. Now the alternative hypothesis is it's not normally distributed. And if you look at these, you can quickly see that these are not normally distributed because the p-values are extremely small. This means we would reject the fact that it's normally distributed. Okay, and now we have a picture here that actually has a curve on it. And now you can see visually why it rejected the null hypothesis of it being normally distributed. Because this just doesn't fit well at all. There's a huge gap here. Uh, this is way above here and way above there. So in this case, we would say that the normal distribution assumption is absolutely false on this data. But for our data here, we just really don't care. But we're going to keep going anyway. So this allows us to get a histogram either with or without the normal curve applied to it. And there's lots of other options that you can do in SAS. But here, this is the most popular option, which is just to see whether or not your data is normally distributed. Not only does it come up here and find it, but it also, or show it up there visually, but it gives you tests for it here. So it gives you the Kolmogorov smirnoff the Kramer-Von-Mises, and the Anderson-Darling test. Uh, all which are good for testing whether or not your data is normal or not. All right, so now we know how to make histograms. Let's move on to the next video.